Hi everyone. So today we'll see how to use the variables in Postman, right? I mean, there are so many variables uh, we can, uh, I mean, we can create and we can use it in the Postman like environment variable and uh, collection level variable and global variable and the local variable, right? So there are some uh, different variable other than this, uh, which is called the dynamic variable, right? So for example, in this case, right? So first name is a key and the first name, uh, this is a value, right? So all the time, we don't want to set up the hard code the same uh, first name and last name, right? So how do we do? I mean, we can go and we can control via variable. So variable also, all the time, you have to go ahead and you have to update, right? So instead of going for that, I mean, Postman has some default dynamic variable where we can use for our purpose, right? So we'll see some dynamic variables, how effectively we can use in our, our request body, okay? So for example, if you see this is a first name, right? So I'm, I have hard coded this as a first name and last name as a last name, right? Salary, I'm sending some digit and age, mobile number, like this, right? So instead of this hard coding this value, we can send some dynamic variable that will give you the some random name on the go, okay? So these are the dynamic variables that are available in the Postman. You can see this is a Postman use the Faker library, okay? So if you go to this Faker library, right? So this Faker library is, it's coming from the NPM, which is a node module, right? So they are, I mean, they are using this one, faker.js to generate the random data, right? So you can see, you can generate the zip code, uh, city, uh, street name, street address, you can generate anything. So they are, I mean, the Postman team internally using this one to, to generate the dummy data. Okay, so what are the variables, uh, variable names are available? Like uh, you can generate the grid, right? So grid is like a UUID V4 for version 4 style, right? So it will give you some uh, grid like this. Right? So similarly, you can go for a timestamp, some random UUID, right? variable name, right? here I can, you can see this random alphanumeric, right? so you can generate some alphanumeric value and random boolean also you can set which is result true or false, random integer you can try, random color, there are so many variables uh, by default, I mean dynamic variables available in the postman, where, where we can, we have to call this variable, that's it. So whenever we want, we just uh, use this variable to our request. So now we'll see how to use this one, okay? So for example, uh, this is a first name, right? So I have a hard coder as a first name. I don't want to hard code as a first name. Simply, you can uh, put double curly braces, right? So within the curly braces, you have to use the dollar symbol. So when you click on the, I mean, put the dollar symbol, you will be getting the suggestions. So here you can uh, click on some first name, right? So random first name is coming. So when I go for this method, right? So instead of, uh, going to I will again make some uh, last name right so update as a last name so random random last name right so this will give you uh, each time different different names so when I make this request you can see here see first name is coming as a Doris and last name is I mean last name is coming as a Dickin right so if again I make this request some another name will come you can see it now see it is coming in different different name right so instead of hard coding the value you can use the different name so when it is come so you have some set of data that you have to like you have to create n number of user like a 10 10 to 50 user with a different different name so simply you can go ahead and use this variable so now when coming to the salary right so salary also it's a it's a number right so it's a number uh, data type so simply you can put number uh, so here we have numeric uh, thing right alpha numeric and random integer so integer is the salary salary is an integer right so we can go for an integer so simply type as int sorry random int okay so that will generate some random integer number right so age also applied to the same like integer number right so you can apply this one and mobile number also there is an option for mobile number so double curly braces and open the dollar symbol and you can just type the phone number right so this will give you the phone number random phone number right likewise city also we have so put simply an uh, city random city it will give okay so now i make this request let's see what happens in the response so now you can see the uh, things right sorry so here we have to pass the city right so we have to type as a city random city so when I make this call, you can see this uh, name is random name coming and random uh, salary is coming and age also salary, I mean, uh, different integer is coming, mobile number is coming in this format, right? So city also, we will make this now. You can see city is coming, I mean, uh, some name is coming, right? So new uh, Frida is coming. Okay, so likewise, we can change the Boolean variable as well. So by, I mean, uh, putting the double quotes, so you can type uh, Boolean, right? So random Boolean, that will give either true or false, right? So we'll make this request now. 
So you can see this time is coming as a true, right? So when I go for a next time, it will be uh, like a false. I mean, again, it could be a true as well. Okay, so this will, uh, I mean, this is a dummy API. Yeah, so this time you can see this is coming as a true, right? So likewise, we can use this a number of uh, default uh, dynamic variables that comes from the postman. Okay, so that would be some scenario where you have to always uh, generate some good before you go for some test, right? So you can do this and you can create for a timestamp. And there are so many things like you can go for a random avatar image and random URL also you can build. Okay, these are some useful uh, dynamic variables that available in the postman that's come from the factor.js library, okay? So this was already seen, right? So it, it is consuming the factor.js uh, class file to, to generate this all type of random variables in the postman, okay? So this is all about uh, generating and I mean uh, using the dynamic variables in the postman, okay? Thank you guys. Thank you.